As you might know by now that when you create a Microsoft team, it uh, creates a SharePoint uh, site in the background, right? Now, um, a lot of people might ask, how do I get to that SharePoint site trace? Or how does this work? And if I'm in my team and on any of the channels, if I go to files and I click on open in SharePoint, it's going to then open the SharePoint site for me. Now, what does happen that confuses people a little bit is that when it opens that SharePoint site, it actually opens from that specific channel in that folder. So if I look at the team, I was on general in awesome team. So it'll open on the general folder in the documents library and um, in the SharePoint site. So you'll see there that I'm in general. There's the documents library, which then shows me the other channels folders. Pretty cool. And um, if I look on the left there, this is where I see the rest of my site contents. But if I click on home, it then opens up the home page of the site. Remember, this team site's not being configured, so you can still do very, very cool, awesome, pretty stuff on this uh, specific team site and uh, and make it then your SharePoint site, of course, for the specific team that works together. Imagine HR or um, sales or marketing or something. Now, what I normally do is I then go back to the home page of the SharePoint site. I'm going to copy that link and in my team, and I'll just do it on general, I'm going to add a tab to um, SharePoint. So um, in a previous blog, I covered uh, the document libraries and just SharePoint. SharePoint's going to look at the existing site behind this team, and I can then add the home page for that specific site. So actually, I didn't have to copy that link. I've forgotten that this has been added. So if I just select home, it's going to open up the home page for the specific um, team for their SharePoint site. So what I normally just do is to help people just to remember what that is, I'll just go and rename that to SharePoint. So then that uh, helps a bit with that confusion with uh, where they navigate through files and it opens up in the specific folder. This way, I then on the general channel, I always add the home page of the SharePoint site as well for other stuff that the guys want to navigate to or access. Remember at the moment, and this is definitely something I still haven't logged this on uh, on user voice. At the moment, it doesn't bring my top navigation or my left nav through, okay? So it makes uh, the navigation a little bit tricky. So remember to modify your page so that you have links here to all the apps that you use and uh, to help it for the guys to be able to navigate, so like to their site contents and things. But there you go. Um, to access your SharePoint site behind this, go to open in SharePoint, but remember that it's going to open up in the specific folder for that specific channel in the document library. So it'll actually open up in that folder. And then all you have to do is just navigate back to the home page. And in the home page, you can then um, access that link, which then um, gives you this uh, this home page. And you can then add, um, of course, you can then just go and add SharePoint, the home page to this uh, specific page. So that's quite a cool thing to do. I think that will just help the guys navigate a bit better in the teams as well. And then they don't have to navigate back and forward to their browser to actually um, access what it is that they're looking for. So uh, quick tip for the day, and I hope that it helps you, and uh, we'll chat soon.